every other part of the world. And I stand to be corrected. You are entitled to go on strike by all means, but you don't get paid, except here. The, the, the monies are invested because the union leaders know that once workers go on strike, even for one hour, government will deduct the one hour from your salary. And if you go for a length of time, one week, which is hardly, which hardly happens. So it's from the check-off deals that have been invested that workers will be paid stipend by their unions. But Nigeria is an interesting country. People go on strike for nine months and they get paid for the period. It is, it's not, it, it, we are not serious about it at all. For me, the first rule is that this no work, no pay thing should be implemented. And as a private person, and I've challenged people, my colleagues and others, who are proponents of saying that if you go on strike, you should be paid. If people go on strike in your chambers, the lawyers go, don't come to work, will you pay them? If workers today in any of the big industries go on strike, will they get paid for a period? No. Because people appreciate the value of the money. So the pay, 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 paying for job not done is an encouragement for people to instigate some of these things. That's number, number two. See, strike should be the last option for unions as a weapon of making demands, especially when most of the demands are about their own welfare. In a country of 180 million people, and of course they are entitled to make agitations by all means. I support people who come clean constitutionally to say, look, we don't want this. But is strike the only option? Of course, no. No worker ever gets sufficient money for his labor. That's the whole essence of capitalism. Mm -hmm.